right, final set. Damn, my leg drive, I was kind of, I felt like I was neglecting it. It's hard to tell if you're using leg drive with such light weight. Um, that was 185 for a 4x4. Four four. My fourth rep, I felt it in my hip. Because yesterday I was squatting, for those of you who watched it, and it popped. <laughs> so I know I'm using leg drive now, on that last set at least, those last two. Because my legs are really wide when I bench. I learned that's really good for leg drive. Having wide hips, just like you're squatting, on bench. So it's a big way to cheat. A big, um... A big edge that a lot of powerlifters don't use. I mean, it's not for everyone. Some people can do that and not feel comfortable with it. But it's legal and it's a big edge. And Mark Bell, I got it from him. He mentioned doing that with the hip circle on. Not a heavy, like the one I have is too, like too firm. The 2.0 one, the hip circle he has. Like a lighter one and just keep it the tension there so you can get used to having it as wide as possible. But my hips are super mobile so it's no problem for me to have it wide. Some people go right here. Some people go in front of the bench. I, ever since I started doing this, it's amazing for me. It, it's it's perfect for someone with a big arc like me and a really weak bench like me. Since I'm so weak on bench, I may go ring finger on the rings, but I didn't try it right now. I, I like ring on the rings. Um, we may see I have four and a half, I have four months. I wouldn't be proud of that because it's kind of like, I mean, it's illegal, obviously. I mean, I'm cheating with this. Even though it's not cheating, nothing about this is cheating. Anyone can do it. But I'm saying, like, going, like, why? That's like a sumo bench and everyone talks about about it. And I have, have in the past. It's like doing sumo, and I don't do sumo deadlift and comp. It is a complimentary lift, but that's just something I don't want to do. I don't do white stance squat. I just like to be as athletically, like, I have an athletic background, so I like to be have an athletic stance base as much as I can, which is about shoulder width. I look so crooked when I deadlift. I always look like I'm like this, like I'm right here and then, or I'm like this, and then I always deadlift like that way it seems like. I guess this side is really, this board, like I said, this three by four wood under the horse stall mat, it's very slanted, and the garage slants that way. You could see how crooked everything is if you really pay attention. Look, just look. That side of the bench, the two piece uh, racks are even, but this side's always smaller. I even switched them, just cause it's, the garage is very slanted. So, I like very tricky because of that, and the slanted wood, but oh well. Um, first set of deadlifts, 335. I stopped warming up at 285. Yeah, uh, 100 and then two tens on each side, so that's 285. And went straight to 335, didn't do a single or anything. I usually, you know, it's kind of, I like to warm up longer on everything except for bench. And first set was hard. <laughs> now I kind of had my belt too low, so it was like hurting me right here. It was like I have like kidney problems. I'm not sure. Maybe that water cut really got to me. But then I put it higher. And I guess I like it higher on deadlift. But I hadn't. You know I'm kind of inconsistent where I put my belt on deadlift. But higher is better. Second uh, and third set were super easy. That was 335 for 3x5. 65% on everything this week. 
Bench was a little, it was 185, it was a little heavier, it was technically 67.5%. Uh, we went 185, it's still on, right? Yeah, 185, uh, 3x5, obviously, you already saw it. That's honestly, that's it for the video. D-Load didn't, it did, D-Load was amazing this week, because it's always heavy for me. First week back, I guess that's when, it, I guess when it's, I've gone heavy, and I'm already beat up, peaking for me, and then I D-Load, like, anything will get me tired, even though it's light. But now that I've rested so much after the meet, this feels, you know, before the meet and after the meet, this feels easy, and that's good. Good news, good sign. I mean, it means nothing right now because it's so light. Got a long way to go to meet day. We're 16 and a half weeks out, like 17 and a half weeks out. Like I mentioned, I'm about to be, what, 17 next week? Yeah, 17 weeks next week. And uh, so that that cable attachment for the landmine rose, I was expecting it today or tomorrow. And I did the Amazon no rush thing, like where you pay... You, I mean, I have Prime, but like you get a dollar reward, like to, you know, you get a dollar reward to like any Kindle app, any, any, you just get a dollar reward. And I thought it was coming this week. I don't know why I thought this was the 24th and the 25th, but it's coming next week. So I couldn't do it today or tomorrow. So I'm going to wait for the V, you know, that thing, V bar attachment for the landmine rolls. May not buy a lap pull down. I wanted to buy it, but I think I'm got, as long as I have a landmine roll and that attachment, I mean, I love those. I haven't done those in a long time, but I love it. Those for back. I have rows. Worst case, I could do single rows with the dump, with the barbell like that. Kind of like croc rows, but with this, it'll be, you know, I don't know what I would hold on to, but I do have two bars. I have dumbbells. You know, I don't really need a lap pull down. I'm just going to take up room, even though there's a lot that don't take up. I have room right there. <laughs> I guess I have room here, but that wouldn't work. Right there would be good by the cat, by the door. Worst case, back here, there's room back there, but I think there's spiders. <laughs> so... You know, I'm not even sure, but I do want a dip, a dip, not like a pull-up dip tower like I had before and I sold it. I want like a single dip one and I see someone offer up and I have a pull-up thing right here on top, but I don't think that's that safe and it's a very skinny pipe. So maybe I get a thicker one or get an actual, you know, pull-up bar. That's all I need. That will be my lap pull-down. Pull-ups, weighted pull-ups, dips. So I may just get that and it's cheaper too. You know, it's going to be as old school as possible in here. Um, if I want to do... Um, Seal rows, I could just buy some cinder blocks and put it under the bench. I do need an incline though, for incline bench and incline rows that I do need. And maybe like some smaller plates for the adjustable dumbbells I have. That's all I really need, honestly. Like I have good mornings, I don't need, uh, what is that reverse hyper? Maybe one day if there's room, it's, there's so much room in this garage to have an entire gym in here. It's a three car garage, but it's a mess in here. You guys can't see the mess, you can see a little behind me, but here, no room. I'd have to, like, it's not my stuff, it's all my parents, so, um, unless I really, really wanted to take everything out I could have whatever I wanted in here don't need a reverse hyper I would love to but I could always do an old school get makeshift one GHD maybe don't need it though like I said good morning stiff legs RDLs that's all you really need a barbell and dumbbells is all you really need so that's it for the video I have like school to go to right now at four so I'm gonna do that and have class at six after that so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe